Alright guys, Arkin here, and welcome back to another Hightail News episode. And I'm feeling In today's video, we're going to investigate what we know so far about food items in the Hightail universe, with a couple of important questions. In the trailer, we're introduced to farming. We can actually see a fair few food items. In the opening scene, we see a kebab with some colorful pieces, which we can safely assume are fruit and or vegetables, as opposed to something more traditional like meat. This is a very interesting food to have whilst trekking the wilderness, as most players tend to rely on meat for sustenance on the go. The fact that we don't see meat here could mean that meat requires a proper furnace to cook in, and that these kebabs are very easy to make and perhaps ration out the harvest from home more effectively. He's also holding vegetables over the campfire, implying that they're able to be cooked like this, and if so, perhaps make the food stretch further into the hunger bar. In the farming scene, we're introduced to a whole bunch of crops. Straight away, we can see eggplants, otherwise known as aubergine, cabbage or cauliflower, Carrots, pumpkins, cotton, sunflowers, and wheat. Due to the fact that we know there are chickens nearby, this tells us that at least one of these foods will be used to feed and breed them. If Hytale chooses to go a more realistic route, chickens will be able to eat most of these vegetable leftovers. We can see different growing stages of pumpkins, and it'll be quite interesting to see whether Hytale incorporates some rotting mechanics where not every fruit or vegetable is viable to harvest due to bugs, poor soil health, or not enough water, just like in real life. There's no fencing around the farm, meaning that the only danger to food may be airborne, as implied by the Scarecrow, though this is only in Zone 1. We have yet to see what other farming techniques will be required in other zones, if it's at all possible. And we've not seen a single meat drop yet. Now that frogs and meerkats have been shown, it'll be interesting to note whether they have drops of substance for food or whether they're purely for harvesting experience. In the same scene, from a different angle, we also notice this old guy chomping down on some carrots. This is really exciting to notice because the eating animation is so smooth and lifelike. Moving inside, we also see a kitchen in this frame. Looking closely, we can see a red apple or a tomato next to a kitchen knife on a chopping board. To the right of that, we can also see a pot that looks very reminiscent of a witchy cauldron. The pot has small bubbles coming out of it, which could tell us that the block underneath is some kind of heat source or stove, and in this context, it could be possible to make soups and broths. On the other hand, these items could be purely aesthetic to signify a functional oven or cooktop bench block, just like how the crafting table has a decorative hammer on top of it. Either way, it seems to be telling us that cooking is possible in Hytale, which could mean we'll see some really interesting recipes designed for survival, or some decadent foods designed for creative mode. Imagine if gifting hearty broths to other race factions was a way to win their trust, or if they could trade new recipes with us. Cooking could also be made of skill, so the different recipes require past iterations and combinations to unlock, but due to the fact the Hytale wants to avoid too much skill leveling, I doubt this will be a system utilized in the main game. In the Watch Videos Together scene, we also see popcorn. This could be a feature in Adventure Mode, or just a plain food reskinned and modded by the server. There will be no limit when it comes to fun food options in Hytale, especially as the modding community will be sure to take over the game when it releases. In this final scene here on the community server, we can see glazed donuts or waffles with the first and only cup item that we've seen so far. Typically, games like Hytale don't have a thirst bar, but there is a chance that Hytale will make it optional to have drinks other than magic potions. Cups aren't the most practical item for an adventure-style game, however, so we're likely to see bottles, swags, and flasks if drinking is an ability as well. Now with food and potions, the likelihood of enchanted food for different purposes is very high, but until the game releases, we won't know for sure how interactive these food items and kitchens are. Another powerful addition would be to have enchanted weapons have different effects on the drops, like efficiency or fire aspect that increases drops and cooks the meat as it dies respectively. And if things can die of their own accord and leave drops or carcasses behind, we could see birds like vultures or even foxes compete for these foods like they do in the wild, or even bugs and mages that can poison wild growing berries. All of this could make a really dynamic game, 
But for now, we know for sure that we can look forward to new, interesting food options, and finally using realistic furniture to eat from in Hytale. Alright everyone, that's all for this video. Let us know what you'd like to see in the next one in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon if you enjoy our content. And we will see you in the next video.